My name is Sebastian, and I'm an engineering lead at Emergle, the company behind the Yoroi wallet. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and restore a Yoroi paper wallet. To create a paper wallet, press on the settings page and go to the paper wallet tab. Here you can select how many addresses to include in your paper wallet, along with whether or not to add a checksum. I'll explain the checksum feature later in this video, so definitely watch the whole thing. Once you've made your selection, press the Create Paper Wallet button, and here you can type in a password. The password for your Yoroi Paper Wallet does not have to be the same as the password for your general Yoroi Wallet. The reason we need a password is because it'd be really bad if somebody finding your Yoroi Paper Wallet meant that they'd be able to steal all the funds on it. We use the password to encrypt the generated recovery phrase to make sure that even if somebody finds your Yoroi paper wallet, they'll not be able to steal the funds without also knowing your password. Now press on this button to download your Yoroi paper wallet. The paper wallet is compatible with being printed on single-sided and double-sided pages. All you need to do is follow the instructions with the glue marks and the folding lines. On the bottom of the first page, you can find a list of addresses. These addresses are used to add funds to your Yoroi paper wallet and can also be used with any Cardano Explorer to check your balance. The second page is printed upside down. Don't worry, this is by design and it's made to facilitate paper wallets being printed on double-sided page uh, pieces of paper. Just for ease of demo, I'm going to flip this page around, but you don't have to do this for the actual paper wallet. Here you can see at the bottom of the second page, your mnemonic is printed. This is the encrypted mnemonic and you need a password to be able to access the funds. That's why we also have a field for a password or hint. So be sure to add a hint here to make sure you don't forget the password used to encrypt the mnemonic. If you forget your password, you will not be able to access your funds and there's nothing we can do to help you. On this page, you'll see a logo along with a tag that should also appear on the first page. This is part of the checksum feature, which I'll describe later. So now we've just generated our Yoroi paper wallet we can verify that everything went well by typing in the recovery phrase and the password. This is an optional step, so you can close here now if you want. Now to restore your paper wallet, you will not be able to transfer the funds to your existing Yoroi wallet like you can with the Daedalus wallet. This is a feature we're currently working to add, so definitely check out to see if it's added in a future release. For now, what we recommend is go to Chrome or Brave and click Manage People. Here you can add a new Chrome account or Brave account and every account gets a different Yoroi wallet. So here I have a separate account and I've installed Yoroi on this account also. So now I open Yoroi and select the restore Yoroi paper wallet option. Here, as usual, I type in my password and type in the mnemonic at the bottom of the paper wallet. Now be sure that the password you put in here is the same one as you inputted when you created your Yoroi paper wallet. This will be used to decrypt the mnemonic you just typed in. Now it's like the spending password. This is the password that you're used to with wallets where you need to know this password to be able to send funds. Again, this does not have to be the same as the paper wallet password you inputted above. Once you restore your wallet, you will see a checksum being presented. This is the checksum feature I talked about before. With the checksum feature, you can verify that you've put in your, your Yoroi paper wallet password correctly. If you inputted the wrong Yoroi paper wallet password, you'll notice that both the checksum and the addresses provided are different.
And that's it, we've restored our Yodoi Paper Wallet. Note that Yodoi Paper Wallet creation does not require an internet connection, therefore you can consider your Yodoi Paper Wallet cold storage. But if you ever decided to restore your paper wallet, then it should be considered a hot wallet and it's best to send the funds over to cold storage. One of the benefits of the Yodoi Paper Wallet a password feature is that it allows for plausible deniability. That means if somebody comes to you and forces you to open your Yodoi Paper Wallet, you can simply type a different password than your real password and it'll give you a different but valid wallet. That means that if you really want to, you can send a small amount of ADA to this fake wallet and all your actual ADA to this other real wallet. And if ever anybody tries to force you to open your paper wallet, simply type in the wrong password. And that's it for the Yodoi Paper Wallet feature. Please give us feedback about what you think and what features you'd like for Yodoi in the future.